Hello. Anybody out there watching? Gotta get this down a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. See if anybody comes in here for a while. Uh, Whiskey in the Six couldn't make it on tonight. Needed a break. I'm wearing his uh, logo. Yeah, I think that's it's the only thing I have to wear that kind of fits in with uh, today's live. It's very impromptu and, as always, by the seat of my pants. But bad things happen in Toronto, as many people have seen. Some people may not know about it if you're not from Canada, but I'm sure it's hit the news all over. A gentleman drove a van and started running into people. Thank you very much, Dolph. Uh, killed killed 15 people today. So I think Rob from Whiskey in the Six has decided to take the night off. I'm pretty sure uh, it was probably strainful, stressful for a teacher and some of the things they might have to deal with with students. A late start for us here in Toronto. I know, man. Hey. One second, Josh. I'm going to put you on the mute. You're in there. Can you hear me? Yep. 10 4, buddy. Give me one sec here. See what it does. Yeah. You're just muted for a second here. Uh, Loch Ness, how are you guys doing over there um, in Ontario? How's everybody feeling about what happened there? That's kind of what I, I wanted to touch on that just before we started getting into anything. Uh, Rob took the night off. Probably a little bit stressful being a teacher and having to work with certain things. Uh, I'm going to have a friend come in. He's from uh, Fort Mac. Well, he lives there now. He's not from there originally. And anybody wants to talk about anything, just let me know. And we'll uh, we'll chat. You guys drinking anything tonight? How about you, Dolph? I'm wearing my whiskey and the sick stuff as a uh, just not really a reminder of Toronto, but uh, hey, bad things happen. I feel a little bad. I think that the the person that caused this to happen or just chose this to happen probably has some deep issues as well. Hey, Santa Cruz and Eric Waite. Yeah, exactly, buddy. That's it. I have a bearded dude to fill in. He doesn't know that's why I had him on here. Uh, on Instagram, you'll find him as Know Your Whiskey. Uh, we call him Josh, plus a few other names. Um, and I'm going to unmute him now so we can chat. This is Josh. So where's that unmute button? And my, how do I unmute on this thing, boys and girls? Present to everyone. Ta -da. Josh, can you go ahead and talk, buddy? Say hello. Nope, you're muted. I got to unmute you. My fault. I'm new to this. I've never done the mute. Eject, stop presenting, hide from broadcast. Muted. How do I unmute people? You thought you were new with this. You're doing fairly well. Yeah, I, I think it's probably pretty difficult on some people, right? How about now? Now I can hear you. Yep. There you go. What happens if you turn your phone sideways? Do you get a, do you, yeah, that's better shot for everybody that's watching you. Cool. Uh, hey, Loch Ness. Pretty tough day. I'm just an hour east of Toronto. A co-worker of mine had a relative killed. Yeah, see? That's terrible news, man. I hope you guys are doing all right. It's 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 amazing. I mean, we've been back, and uh, we've seen certain things here in the world, and it just it's it's something else to to have to see this, and 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 especially in an area like Canada. And I'm sure the person that did it, I mean, he's not. Uh, I don't know if he knew what he was doing. I know he, they say he was upset and bitter, but. Is he honestly? I don't know, guys. There's really not much you can say to make it better. I hope things get. Uh, I hope people can just get over it, right, and learn from the the whole situation. Do you, you lots of talk about that up there, Josh? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, 
Well, I mean, it's Canada, man. Yeah, we're small. Yeah. Hey, Richie. Can you see the chat? No, uh, Josh. Okay, lots of people will be talking and so forth. So, Josh is on Instagram as Know Your Whiskey. Um, this is no means anywhere as, as great a loss as they had in Toronto, but we had a forest fire a couple of years back, and he lost over 300 of his uh, whiskeys, his entire collection. Is that not right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, everything. Oh, that was bad. That was, that was tough. Yes, there are Santa Cruz, and there are lots of lost people in this world, and they fall through the cracks somehow. That's something that we, I wish we could do something about it. It's a hard thing. Um, anyway, I hope that Rob's doing all right. He probably will show up later, I would hope. I think he needed a break. He's also been doing a lot of renovations at home. I think as a teacher, he probably had a lot of things to deal with, as I've said several times here. But anybody that's out there, our condolences go to you. Um, Dolph, have you met Dolph, Josh? I'm not too sure. I don't think so. He's uh, he's there in Edmonton. He's on, uh, I don't know if he's on Instagram, but he's on. I need to change this thing here. Is it When you talk, you, your, your screen comes up. Should anyway. Um. Yeah, Dolph has a little bit of a blog. I think I might have him on a show one day. And he says, no, you have not. He's a teacher as well. Uh, Dolph, at, at, at the Edmonton schools, was there any conversation between the kids going on about, I don't know what grade you teach, going on about this event that happened in Toronto, here in Canada? I don't think it, it's hard when I'm at work all day long. Guys, get you get focused at work and you can't do much about the, the news. I'll let you answer that in the chats. Just on Twitter and Facebook, yeah. Anyway, I'm sad about that. I hope Rob does well, and I hope uh, you, Loch Ness, is doing a lot. And I think, Eric, are you living out there too? I think you do. Don't try to get yeah, a couple of you confused with guys that live in Calgary. Grade 7 and 9, yeah, they're talking. Eh? Rob said they didn't talk about it as much as he thought they would. I don't know what age groups he's talking about. And move on. Yeah, I hope so. And I hope the guy that, that was involved in the incident, I think the news clip I saw, he was he was being very desperate anyway. I think he wanted to end it himself, and I think he wanted to do it with the aid of a police officer, but that officer probably was probably very tough for him not to pull the trigger, right? Um, so we can all keep them in our thoughts and try to do the best we can. So what is everybody drinking tonight? Josh, what are you drinking? Well, what? That's empty, man. That's, that's an empty, empty bottle. Man. Why why did you drink it all waiting for me? Oh, I've been drinking a lot of it. Uh, I don't want to pack too much. There's there's boxes everywhere. There's whiskey everywhere, everywhere. Are you, are you moved? You're in your no, new house. Not until August, man. Holy Lord. And this is the new house being built because of the fire, or you purchased a new house? No, this is the new house being built. Yeah. So. Uh, Jack Daniels barrel. It's going to be a sink in my bar. How did you get that barrel, by the way? Oh, man. I shipped it up from Tennessee, buddy. Wow. I got to become yeah. a, a safety instructor. Yeah, man. I think you make too much money, brother. Well. Loch Ness, yes, opinions. <laughs> Loch Ness is enjoying a Kalila 12 right now. Ooh. Eric is finishing off a Portuguese wine with dinner. That is, I love me some Glenrothes. Man, that color just gets I'm going to, I'm going to show you something just to make you jealous. Please, Rich, you're please. still drinking on that same Avalor Abundi? Oh, now a Jack Daniels barrel. Uh, are you ready for me to show you something, Josh? Of course. Is it a laddie? No, it's not a laddie, buddy. <laughs> Let me see. It's not a laddie. It's a. It's I can a, see all the laddies on the top. Shelf. I can't see any laddies. I can't. You know, I can't see up that high. But I should have had this <laughs> because I saw you already with that. But. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, good thing those bottles don't break. <laughs> that was all your sample bottles there, Josh. I'm not sending them up now. Oh, man. You want a sample, man. You let me know. I know you do. Are you ready for this? That is a duty-free Glenrothes Ancestors Reserve. Cool, man. I think it's 25-year-old. Now, what I got billed for was um, a different one. So if you're ever doing duty-free, double-check certain things before you do it because they don't really pay attention, I don't think. It's the same price I was told by uh, Jason Whiskey Wise. Uh, so this was about 220 pounds. Uh, and what I was supposed to get, where is that? Glenrothes oldest, which would be 30, but this is 35. Mm. Um, I love Glenrothes. I think that is exactly what got me started in uh, whiskey, and I think it was about a 30-year-old. It might have been something else because I can't remember. You know what? Not me. I didn't like them. I was not a fan. It took me a long time. I know. To warm up. I know. Some people, it, it, it is a 50-50, man. It's love or hate. Yeah, I did not like it. But, uh, you know, as my palate grew and the collection grew, I don't want to discriminate against any whiskey. The, uh, Dolph is drinking Old Perth wine, finished barrel strength, blended malt, Old Perth uh i have that old purse how about this one um geez man is that screen not working because when you talk you should come up on the screen eh? uh is there what's happening when i when josh talks guys tell me if he pops up on the screen is there a way i can get the chat in uh you it'll be on your phone unless you have it if you you've got a computer in front of you yeah i could yeah Call up the video, call up the YouTube video and make sure it's muted. Otherwise, we'll just get an echo and there's a little bit of a delay from what you and I say to what the guys see. Okay. And then and then you can pop up the chat and see the guys in here talking. Yeah. Okay. Bear, bear with me. Man. What emblem is on the hat? Mine or you mean uh, on Josh's hat? Looks like a Klingon symbol. No, I think that's like surfboard or skater stuff, ain't it? Yeah, Vulcan. You ain't popping up, so is that because I got to change it? Is there a Glenrothes rum cask finish? I think so, yeah. How does that work? I need somebody like Scott or Bart in here. Profile mute. Present to everyone. Me and my oh. buddy Adam J. Or my brother-in-law probably knows. I don't know. Hang on, let me check this. There now. What what what's what's there now? It's a surfer emblem. Oh, Eric Eric Waite is a a gentleman is known on YouTube as Whiskey Church, or as Eric Waite, and he is uh, a third level sommelier. I think you're studying for. I'm going into YouTube. He is, um, okay, yeah, just mute it, and you can see, uh, you can pull the chat up. There's will be three little buttons, and you can go pop up chat, and you'll be able to see the guys that are in here. We have about 13 viewers right now. Not bad for a newbie and a, and a greenhorn, or two greenhorns. So I guess you guys would like to know what I'm going to drink. Richie Z, did you figure out from my Instagram what I'm going to drink yet? And uh, Eric is Miller High Life and Forty Creek. That's funny, Eric, because I saw Miller's High Life at the pub tonight. That's why it took me a little bit longer to get here. I didn't want to cook and come on the show at the same time. I made that mistake one time, and I left the bloody uh, the bloody stove on while I was talking to all you guys. That's not a not a wise situation to be in. Um, can you see the chat now, Josh? Yeah, I can see now, but yep. uh, it's just me. Ah, there we go. It'll switch back and forth, and when you talk, but I usually close that window off. Yeah, just, I just watch. Need to chat. Yep, I just watch the um, the actual hangout video so that I stay within rhythm. You believe yeah, it's a whiskey? It's all new. It's all new to me. 
Hey, buddy, you're going to learn fine. It is a it is a whiskey that starts with a B. Eric's church is the only one I attend. You're a heathen. No, Loch Ness, you're not. Be the material. Uh, that's my yeah. people. That's my people. Josh, actually, that's funny that Josh says that, but Josh is an ordained minister. <laughs> <laughs> I wear I many think... hats. Hey, Chris Beaton. Uh, Beaton is in me. 97. Is that what I have? It is what I'm going to drink, buddy. Yeah, I haven't opened up any Blau Blairs. The only other Bal Blair I have is I have a 1990 here. Bal Blair. So we'll open her up right now. Solid microbrewery. What is Miller's? <laughs> How about this? I'll drink one with you. Right on an old, old, old five. I don't oh, have five. one. I have a 1990. I have a 1983. What do I have here? Uh, what is that? 05. 05. Bell Blair 97. As you can see, I'm going to rip that top off. Uh, I will take, give me a 50 bucks. You're going to give me 50 bucks? I think I need a little more than that. I did fight with a guy because this did not come in a Bell Blair box. You reviewed the 03, did you, Eric? I have a 1978. Everybody's going to be like, why are you opening up a 97 if you have a 1978? I even forgot I had this, and I only recently bought it. And this is a first fill, I believe. Uh, bottled in 08. 78 bottled in 08. Are you muted right now, Josh? Yeah, we're having technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Probably the dogs won't stop barking. When um, when does it switch over for uh, people who are watching between me and you? When you talk, as long as I don't talk over you, you'll, you'll your picture should pop up. Okay. Makes I was sense. just going to show everybody the... Uh... Yeah, so when you show them, you just got to talk. Well, all right. Here's O five Bell Blair. I'll uh, I'll join you. I don't have the same one you have, and I haven't had one in a while, so uh, we'll drink this one. Delish. It is. They're delicious. I don't. I've never heard a bad thing about any of them. Here we go. That's a nice moist cork. Makes me wonder. You know what? Oh. Even with the minis, that glug, the glug 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 glug. Here it is. Yeah. Look at that, eh? Oh, nice. Beautiful. Cheers, guys. Is anybody in Toronto? Cheers to Toronto. I hope things get better. I'm sure they will. I'm going to let that sit for a bit. This is my first Bal Blair. But there is a little cork uh, buildup in here. It must have been laying on the side. There's something about this not being in a in um in a box that made me wonder about it. Eh? Well, it's all right. Can't hurt it that bad. Tap on the screen. It is supposed to work automatically and go back for whatever. Tap on what screen? Are you talking to him on his phone? I just tapped on the How screen. How about that? Well, I I think you're now. How how's it now, folks? Uh, maybe they're just seeing you. You might be the full size character there. Yeah, it doesn't they matter. They can hear both of our voices, right? And you're close enough. Okay, yeah, uh, I got the control here, Dan. You are the man of power. Right now. Well, let me switch face. back. It's on this... you. Let me switch back. I just wanted to uh, show everybody this little mini there, a little taster. Yeah. I have a 1990 mini right there. I think I got this from Kensington Wine Market. Did you? Or did they give it? Throw it in free for a, after they raped you for their price? Oh, did I say that out loud? My outside voice has got. I got to silence it. There's my mini, which I was gonna do in a review, but I got this Bell Blair for under a hundred bucks, just under a hundred bucks, really. It's not bad. Which is good for a Bell Blair, I think. Just Josh. Video's not switching. Yeah, somebody explain how that... Um, I figured it out. When I want to show my lovely bearded face, 
I just got to, I just got to chime in, man. I just got to push the screen. Well, usually it switches automatically when people are talking. That's how I run. It's the power of the beard. Confirm nor deny that. Your beard is filling in for, for Rob's whiskey in the six. I'm not sure that the face that holds the beard up is as uh, attractive as Rob's, some people say, but well, now, Daniel, now, Daniel, now what? It's hard to follow in on the chats here and try to figure out how things work. What did I say? Because sometimes my brain detaches from my uh, mouth. This is my first. No, uh, you know what? I might have had some SMWS Balblair. And I have had Balblair samples, so no, it's truly not my first. Santa Cruz and Balblair is your first. That started the journey. What's the nose on yours? Mm, I'm working at a styrene plant right next to the gas refinery. I might have a hard time telling you. Smells like styrene and gas. Mine. Maybe some caramel. I got none of no caramel on mine. It's very so light. Actually. Mine's nutty. Very light on the nose. I get a little bit of a dried fruit. I get oak. Not heavily, not strong. No. Just something nail that for sure. I get some. What's your ABV on yours? Uh, 46. Same as mine, yes. Yeah. What's the chat saying here? Ah, uh, guys, uh, waiting for us there. Eric Waite says, I'm more of a Swami kind of guy. I don't know if that's, uh, oh, you mean you're more into Swami's beard than, than uh, Josh's? Don't worry. I think Josh is more of a, mm, I don't know how to say it. You can say anything you like about me. Everything you ever heard about me is true. <laughs> so Eric Waite was a minister or a priest. I, were you a chaplain, Eric? You were in the Mar Marines, were you not? Maybe it was a chaplain. And so Josh is an ordained minister. I don't know which YouTube or which uh, website he went to to get it, but <laughs> yeah, was well, it's expired? It just expired, eh? Oh, it's, it has an expiry date. <laughs> well, Canada can't do it in Canada. United States, mm. hit me up, <laughs> no problem. But Canada, no go. But very sweet on the tongue. This in the mouth, kind of light. Not a lot of tea, not a lot of uh, after or finish is short, I should say. The legs are short on this, too. They, I mean, their legs are nice, but they run down quickly. Yeah. Light and cutter. I think I could drink this quite frequently, to tell you the truth. I think it's going to open up nicely. Remember I, uh, I'm happy to have tasted mine. It's, that's fine for me now. It's not sherry enough for you or not peated enough because you're a cigar smoker? Well, all of the above. It could be a little more. It's not quite intense. I mean, it's pretty youthful. You know, when was it bottled? It's like 10 or 12 years old probably, right? He's bottled a 2016, uh, yeah. He's a theologian. I understand what that means. Many other people might not. I'm going to flick it up to mine there, Dan. Yeah, go right ahead, buddy. Flop it up. That's what she said. Bottled. I think I have the control to do that. No, man. Watch watch the chat. You'll see. You're full screen. Going back. Right? Going back. What? Watch the chat. It'll pop yeah. me up there. Yeah. But when I talk, it doesn't pop up right now because I just clicked on no, your screen. No, I got to manually click. The, the button here. Yeah, and I can I can do the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Uh maybe I can go into the settings here. No, nope, that's for something else. It's all good. Doesn't matter. They don't need to see either one of us full time. Right on. So Dolph, I missed what were you drinking? Yeah, I I think you're right, uh, Chris, Santa Cruzin. He he's saying that it needs to oxidize. Um 
Now that I tasted it, though, I'm getting more on the nose. I am getting the vanilla. Kind of like a, a burnt. That's right. You said old Perth. Sorry, buddy. These seat of the pants things make it difficult. Eh? I'm going to add a drop of water in mine. Let it rest. Um, Santa Cruzin, you're going to be on a, um, somebody's channel live soon, aren't you? Are you ready for it? Any ideas what you guys are going to talk about? Tom R is in the house. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that is, Tom. How do I switch that? I got to figure that out. Josh, present to everyone. Hi, eject mute. I don't want to eject. Present to everyone. That puts you on all the time, right? No, switch back and forth. Present to everyone. Switch back and forth. What's that one? There is no switch back and forth. I'm just doing that manually. Nice get up there, buddy. Well, listen, Rob, Whiskey in the Six is in the house. He decided to take the night off. He's been busy doing renovations. And, Rob, I think that yourself, Eric, uh, Loch Ness, and anybody else I miss that's living in Toronto has probably had a little bit of a, a little bit of time to think after what's happened down there. Sorry, there goes my laundry if you heard that big buzz um and i wanted to wear something and uh give our condolences to all the people in toronto and i hope things uh improve and people learn how to cope with that tragedy that happened out there rob so so the only thing i had to really wear was the whiskey and the six gear which if we are correct the six stands for the six boroughs of ontario or the gta so this dram is for anybody in Toronto that's trying to cope with their situation, buddy. It's, it's a terrible thing. I know that a lot of people have a hard time with the actual reasoning why that would happen. I mean, we live in a rough world, and sometimes trying to find the reason why is harder than just learning to deal with the situation and learning from it. So I hope everything works out, my friend. Thanks a lot, Rob. And I, um, I'll sorry, food, Chris, I'm gonna, or Josh, I'm going to put you on there. Josh is filling in because I didn't have anybody with a beard, and Josh is your fill-in, buddy. <laughs> He's the well, beard, and I'm wearing the gear. I do have a beard. Yep. And if you want to follow him, he's got a lot of whiskeys to show on his Instagram. Know your whiskeys is what he goes by. Know your whiskeys. I'm I'm just doing the Twitter thing, Snow Your Whiskey Two Wise, and I just started the the YouTube. Man, YouTube's brand new to me. Well, you're doing good. You're doing better than I did. My first time, I was with Malted in Montreal, and you could hardly hear me because I I had my iPod on a on a tripod, but it was a little too far away. I didn't have the mic. Now I have a mic and so forth. I've had to set myself up a little bit better. Yeah. Well, when I get in a new place, man, hopefully I can I can do something, right? But I think you'll have fun, man. I hope so, man. Well, well with the new setup, the built-in bar, right? All these guys in this whiskey chat, I tell you something. I think that they're great guys. I mean, sometimes you're cautious. We haven't had anybody come in right now. Eric or Richie Z and I had to, and Eric uh, Wait on his show had to punt the guy because he was unnecessary. He was just a troll, you know. Yeah, but you just ignore them, and they usually get you know they want the attention. Don't give them the attention; they go away. Um, nice hat. hats are great, by the way, Rob. Yes, they are actually. I'm impressed, Rob. I like this. This is a nice hat. You need one there, uh, Josh. Rob, are you are you going to the Spirit uh, of Toronto? Oh. Are Rob? So Josh wants to know if you're going to be at the Spirit. What is it called? Spirit in Toronto or Toronto Spirit? Yeah, Festival? Spirit, Spirit of Toronto. Are you going? We'll let, we'll let Rob. Yeah, me and my okay. wife are flying down, man. I'd love to meet you. You will be there. there. Are you going to be just wandering around, Rob, or you got yourself set up? You're going to take your phone and try to do a live interview with anybody special? What did Richie had jump crazy, but 
just for women and whiskey. Well, you got to be crazy for women and whiskey. And that's I'm very. That's why I started Whiskey Heathens, man. Oh, you got another. That's your other Instagram. What that's is this? My, uh, it's my company. So tell us about your company, Whiskey Heathens. Oh man, it's just, it's just random. It's just random, man. Random whiskey and beautiful people and beautiful cigars and it's a good time, man. It's and what? Nice. But what kind of company is it? Photography, production, whatever, man. Whatever you. Yeah. Need. You call me up, man. It's in development. I don't know what you're doing. So I think it's, it's on in photography. It's, it's themed photography. Okay. We work with a couple models and um, we uh, take pictures with whiskey, with cigars and stuff, man. It's awesome. Right on. That's good. Hey, uh, Dan Trout. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for the subscription the other uh, day. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming on today. Eric Waite was in law enforcement for 20 years. I've seen a lot of evil and a lot of crazy, yep. Especially in uh, areas like where you live. Toronto was a very populated area. And I think the bigger the population, the harder it is for many people. They see things and it's... it's uh, maybe we live too close together, I don't know. Oh, I mean, I have my own opinion, but I'm going to leave that out of here. But the world is uh, it's certainly changing in many ways. Fortunately, whiskey has been around for a long time, and we can enjoy it. Although in a situation like this, I'd like to bring up a point here that we, um, a lot of times, don't want to get in the habit of using whiskey to cope with our situations and our stress. I like to come home and decompress a little bit before I get into a, a beer or a whiskey or anything. Right? How about you, Josh? You work up north. And you see um, guys. Yeah, man. Uh, I worked in safety in the oil sands and investigations and stuff. And, uh, you know, man, you see some weird stuff. You meet a lot of weird people here, a lot of cool people. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. I like to come home, relax for a little bit, you know, hang out with my wife, my dog, and uh, pour a dram or two. And Yeah. And you got lots of good friends, people that you can talk to if you have a situation that makes it a little more... Uh, Stressful yeah, I for few, you. I got a few good friends. That's all yeah. you really need, man. Mm. It is, yeah. Family. Family now. That's good. I know that up north there's lots of stuff. I mean, last year we uh, lost a very good friend. I went to apprenticeship school with him and everything. And he, uh, he, we all went on our days off. He, uh, we all had to fly down because it was a fly-in, fly-out camp. But apparently we could drive back up. I flew back up, but they said. Um, him and another fellow decided to drive up and he actually had to take a break from the parking lot to the camp and uh he didn't show up the next day at work apparently he had a massive heart attack in his room and i felt the one i mean he's a bull of a man we used to call him the silverback gorilla he was a beast um but i cannot imagine what it would feel like to have that happen and be alone in a camp room so friends and family here's another toast or cheer to those people i will drink to that yep you got anything left to drink oh man i got lots to drink <laughs> salancha Harry, hey, thank you very much santa cruzan great brotherhood i agree with you loch ness um eric wait with modern media we also have a more immediate access to information so we'll now hear and see everything going on around the world we do a lot of times we don't always get to hear this is one of the wonderful things about stuff like uh youtube and twitter and different things is we get to we can news they're a little afraid of it i think out there because we get to see the news and send it anywhere we want in the world so thank you chris he was a good man hard worker but I can't imagine what some people are going through down in uh, in Toronto right now with the many things that have happened there. So let's keep everything in mind that way. We don't want to be Debbie Downers, but let's be, you know, some of the serious stuff has to be talked about once in a while, right? So um, 
Eric Waite, you are very good at decompressing with humor, and it was hilarious. That other day on Friday, I think it was, you were stressed out, had a rough day or a rough week at work, and you were wearing what? What do they call them? Wigwam socks? <laughs> and you started doing the, uh, I don't know what kind of slide we'll call it. You got to check that out, Josh. On his live show, he was uh, dancing around. Well, none of us could see his feet, of course, but he had these socks on, let them slide all over his uh, apartment there. Eric likes to start his live shows with uh, some great music and some dancing and singing. I think it's keeping him in that svelte shape that he's in. Uh, what do we have here? Santa Cruzin, you have to live every day like it's a gift, which is true. Then pour that dram that you're holding back for later. You're a good man, Santa Cruzin. Eric's dancing is great. Although, you know what, Mr. Uh, Richie, I bet you, you look like you come from a generation of pretty wild dancing. Well said, Chris. I to say, see what Chris said there. Whiskey in the six. I hope your renovations are done because I think a lot of these guys would like you to be back on in your live, and they uh, they certainly would like to see your next lineup of whiskeys that you're going to be doing reviews on. Okay, Josh, what did you just pull out? I just want to show you this. What do you got? Sweat. What? A meat sweat? Aqua Vitae meat, meat sweat. sweat. <laughs> Where did you get that and what the hell is it? Made with 47.2% alcohol. It's uh, made here in Fort Mac with Buffalo. No. A distillery or it's what? It's drippings from bison and stuff, man. Like, it's ridiculous. Oh. It tastes, it's good, man. It's weird. It's good. It's, you can't like, tell me this. It's not whiskey, man. It's not whiskey. But it's weird, and I like weird, man. It's not whiskey. What is it again? Hold it up, but hold it still so the camera will focus on it. You move it. Meat sweat. Come a little closer. Meat sweat made with 42 or 47.2 percent alcohol. So they didn't make the they've added flavor to some moonshine, kind of. That is wild. Yeah, Eric Gilbert. My first thoughts, I agree. Yuck, just one word. It's pretty crazy, man. It's so weird. And who's putting that out? Like, is it sold in the liquor store or somebody selling it at one of the brew company? Oh, the Buffalo Brew Company. All right. Yeah, I wanted to do the Beast. I actually tasted the Beast whiskey coming out of the still, man, and it's good. Yeah? Yeah. They're, they're the guys that are down on the main street there, right? Yeah. Man, that yeah. bottle sold for seven grand, man. Say what? The bottle sold for seven grand on auction. A bottle sold for seven grand? Yeah, man. Another one went for five grand. What? From who? People were bidding on it? Oh, yeah, man. Sport Mac, buddy. People, what? Yeah, it was online on eBay. People can't donate time, man, but, you know, it's a lot of executives here that are happy to donate oh, money. Yeah. Some of the barley. Some of the barley from the beast that was smoked by the fire. Wow. Yeah. So they're making beer. Oh, yeah, man. They make good beer. Yeah, I've had they their beer. Vodka. Their vodka is actually not bad either. Eric Waite says, made from buffalo ball sweat, triple distilled for extra smoothness. Yes, that is very accurate. I think Eric Waite knows more about buffalo balls than, he, than we can talk about here. Hey, we're in the prairies, man. Yeah, no, Eric is, what are you, Eric, in San Diego or uh, San Francisco? Oh, nice 21-year-old Bushmills. Is that Back special? In the store, got a smoking hot deal. Smoking hot deal, man. Santa Cruz and wants to know if that uh, stuff that sold for that much was actually a um, a charity auction. Yes, of course. Sure, it was. 
there's a lot of money up north, boys. I mean, people spend a lot and waste a lot of money too. I've seen guys the spend oils out and box the drink. The oil cans are right here. Yeah, how much is gas up there right now? Just out of curiosity. Uh, one twenty nine and change. Is it? It's a buck thirty one down here right now. Really? Eh? Which is is what they're paying in Toronto. What? So we know that we're not supposed to be paying that, but three of the refineries are shut down at the same time. So. They're probably pumping that gas from somewhere else. Uh, While well, you're showing fancy bottles, I don't have anything that fancy or unique. I certainly don't have anything. Well, maybe I do. That's not fancy, man. I got this for 40% off. Nah, holy mother, why? Where at? Solo? No, man. Liquor Depot. There was a sale online, and it was the same sale as uh, as New Year's sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got that sale on right said, now. Yeah, I said, how come this one's not on sale online? I showed them. They were like, ah, we'll give it to you. They're getting rid of it, man. They're just getting yeah. it. You know why? Because they're doing renovations. Plus, they don't want stuff in the warehouse anymore because they're they're renovating the wine and beyonds out here, trying to they're turning them into cookie cutters, right? They're all going to be the same. Yeah. And, 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 and they don't say this out loud, but they are doing their um, – they're getting ready to open up dispensaries. Yeah, they told me that at the store, man. I got a bottle, though. I got a nice, and this is, uh, to me, it's unique because everybody keeps talking about Glen Goyne, but it's always a cherry finish that they're getting. This is from uh, the old malt cask. It is a Glen Goyne 21 year old. Right? Uh, and it is. It was distilled '95 and bottled in 20 in 2017, and it's 282 bottles, charged from a real refill hogshead. Super cool, man! Super cool. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Too bad I'm gonna drink it all and just think about you. Have you tried this one? Glen Elgin. I gotta switch the screen here. Or you do? I got you. Oh, Glen. What is it again? Ling Lingnan. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Gordon McPhail, 10-year-old. Pull her back just a bit and see if it focuses. I, st I can't see who made it, though. Glenn Lignan. Glenn Lignan. See, this is one of the beautiful things about independent bottlers. And I'm glad you came on because I know you and I hit it off with independent bottlers. A lot of these guys, some of these guys don't do independent bottlings. Or don't like, they just buy the the main brands or something? But I love the fact that you'll get stuff that is usually used in a in a um, mix a blend. Which one do you have? Ah, uh, Glen Dolan. Did you get that from Chateau Louis? No, this one was uh, this one was bottled when in uh, two thousand seven. Okay, but but that that's a bottling. Chateau Louis carried almost all of those. They don't now. They've only got a few left. Yeah, yeah, not that one. Richie and uh, this one, um, Chris Britton. I appreciate it. Yes, I think I have some nice stuff, but I think I've learned to appreciate what I have more because of of you guys and uh, and my little my new buddy here, Josh. This is becoming whiskey porn. <laughs> yeah, so Sniper found that for you. Yeah. We have a different sniper up here, Eric Waite. We call him the Scotch Whiskey Hunter. And that big Pete is from how long back? This is the very first edition. Very first edition. He told me there was another bottle in there, but he didn't give me the exact address of the liquor store. I bought them all. You're a snake in the freaking grass. Are you serious? You bought every one of them? I did. That's all right. It's crappy tasting peated whiskey. I highly, highly doubt that. I'll send a sample. <laughs> it tastes like crap. I don't care what you say. Mm. You got the Richie Z's got a Glen Goyan teapot dram bottle. You Port get one Allen, of those? Man. What's that? Port Allen. Port Allen. Did you hear what I just said? Richie no, Z. Not. Richie Z. In the comments or in the chat, he lives in uh, California. He has a Glen Goyan teapot dram. Oh, nice. Yes. Uh, whiskey Barrel had those. What's that? The Whiskey Barrel had those. Did he? 
No, I'm not referring to Brody. This is a Scotch whiskey hunter on Instagram. He lives here in Edmonton. Uh, I love the independent bottler. So do I. Way more for your money usually. Yes. There. I just looked at one, guys. I don't. Uh, it's an Auchentoshan by, I think I can pronounce it, Kane Moore Independent, which I think is uh, old and rare is the company that actually has it. It's um, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for it. I think there's a sale coming on, so I want to grab it. It's an Auchentoshan, but it is the darkest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, is it colored? Oh, you said it's independent. It's independent. It's a non-chill filter, buddy. Oh. Uh, Chris is heading to the King Cork tomorrow to grab a bottle of Rockside Barley. What Tell Davis Rock... said, hey, man. What's that? Tell Davis said, hey, Dave's my guy, man. Oh, yeah. Tell him. I love Dave. He's a good man. I was giving him a hard time. Told him I went and bought a dress so I could go to the women's only bourbon tasting. <laughs> I'd like and to I'm go like, to that tasting. I think we should all show up just in a dress. I, I don't think they'll let us in, but why not? And he can't say anything. I already told him to read Bill C-16. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right? You want to start quoting legislation with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. It has nothing to do with safety, so it will go over your head. Come on, don't uh, lie. That is very true. That's very true. Yeah. Uh, what else you got to show off there, buddy? How many oh, McCallops do you have? My whiskey, most of my whiskey is in storage, man. I've been storing everything lately. <sighs> um, what, what do I have? What do I have here? Well, uh, well how about I show you some more? You want to see something? Did you get one of these, my friend? Did you get one of these? No. Bell Blair? No. Somebody asked if I ever tried a Bell Blair before. Well, I have tried this, fortunately. Uh, the whiskey said, thief, going to look for meat sweat 25-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whiskey. Oh, I got beer. something weird. I got something weird when you're done, man. Where did you get that uh, whiskey thief? Where are you from, anyway, first of all? I'm going to show you. You have not seen this. you got to get a bottle. It's about 250 bucks. I know you're going to go get one, Josh. This is a 1993, 49.6%. That color. First, first spill punching. Yeah, take a look at that, Ben. It is, and, it, it, and it's phenomenal. This is a Bow Blair, 93. And I guess... Now that I'm thinking about what Dolph said, yes, I have got this, and I did get to try a sample of it. But we also got to watch Whiskey in the Six, who I'm filling in for. Yes, that's right. You're from Texas. Whiskey Thief is from Tescus. I'll tell you something, Tescus. I've only, I haven't even finished my first round, and I'm already slurring. So, um, Texas might know something about meat sweat down there, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they might have you beat. <laughs> Uh, Richie Z asked me, if, uh, I'm going to, I don't even want to look at the screen right now. I'm going to switch you off so I can just read this comment. I can see what you're trying to do there. <laughs> do you plan on getting the compass box? Yes, I plan on getting the Muse. Uh, you spotted a bottle today, but got the Glendronic 21 instead. Why would you do that? I mean, I know that they're both phenomenal, but why would you do that? Um, it's not available here yet. What? Okay, Josh, your screen's on. What old Putin are you about? What is it? <laughs> Oops. You're hard on equipment, man. Oh, buddy, you don't even know. Oh, do. Oh, does... Trust me, Dolph has some things too, guys. Uh, that Where did you get that one? And is it a bit... I think I've seen it somewhere. That's exclusive to the keg and cork, man. I tasted it. Oh. And I bought it after I tasted it. That's how much I enjoyed this one, man. I'm going to say something. I don't like some of the exclusive uh, exclusivities that you see at some of these liquor stores. But the, I have to say that most of that is pinned around um, the big ones like Wine and Beyond and the big corporate stores. So if you're in the U.S., we have what's called uh, Wine and Beyond up here. And it's the same corporation as your Total Wines, I'm very sure. And then there's all these little stores around here. They're called liquor depots or liquor barns. And they are they are all under the same umbrella as that corporation, right? But the, the, the independents, like Kagan Cork, Dave, who is the manager at the Kagan Cork, 
him and Lionel and I believe one other person is is they're, they're fully involved in picking these casks that they get. You 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 know what, Josh? I'm going to tell you right now that that, that blows my mind away. A 19 year old Springbank cast strength for 350 bucks, give or take, or 249 dollars. How what was the price on that? I uh, can't remember, man. Type truth. But yeah, it's close to three hundred dollars. Yeah, is it worth it? I don't know, man. But I got a soft spot for Springbank, man. I got a soft spot. I well, really do. I like wonder the long grows, man. The uh, society bottlings. I'm a huge fan. I got a couple. Um, you know the uh, 100 proof. This one's from 2004. Yeah, yeah, I just finished the port there. I got the Malbec in storage. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, this is like a, just a giant dick swinging <laughs> part of it. What about this one here? And my buddy on the – is he on here right now? No, he's not, Fisker, ordering these things. You see that one, Josh? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. That's a different one, though, fresh. Oh, no, it's the same one. Yeah, I don't get to keep these. I kind of said somebody could have them. Oh, man, I love them. I know. I, I, I might keep one bottle. I don't know if he's on here and he's paying attention. I'll see what he says. I don't know. We'll twist his rubber arm. One for me and one for you. Everybody keeps telling me. Everybody's impressed by what you're showing them. Do you have the 16 local barley they're asking? No, man. I... Uh... What I had a local barley at the old place. I can't remember what it was, man. But uh, but that one up in smoke. Yeah, I can't. You had, I don't know. If it was the sixteen? I'm not sure. I just can't remember. How about this one? What is that? The lar lard of Fintry. Where is that from? Canada. You see, yeah, yeah. Is that new? Nah, a couple of years, two years or so. So I need, are they hard to get a hold of? Oh, yeah, you had to win a lottery to be able to purchase. Oh, yeah, same as the Lucky Bastards guys in Toronto, so, or in uh, Saskatchewan. So here's here's one of the things. Cup, did you get the Eclair bottlings? No, I tried it, and nobody had a full bottle. They just had a sample around, and it's great That's stuff. Good. So what I'm trying to do, and you could help me out with this, anybody Canadian-wise, is I'm, and I have some here. I have lots of um, uh, two brewers, which I think is phenomenal. I want to send to my non-Canadian YouTubers, whiskey tubers, I don't know, five single malt, Canadian single malts for a kind of a blind tasting. They won't be the same as doing a blind tasting of what we usually see us drinking, the single malt scotches and the and some of the U.S. stuff. There's so much more variety in that, maybe. But I would love to send them some to show them the difference between what everybody calls Canadian whiskey, Wisers and Crown Royal and so on, right? Because there are some awesome guys out there. One of my favorites is Two Brewers. Two Brewers is they started making beer in Whitehorse, and they translated that over into making whiskey. And they, I think because they're... They got so good at malting that they've done a very good job of making single malts. You tried two brewers, haven't you? Yeah. And you like it? It's okay, man. It's okay. Have, have you tried? What have you tried from theirs? Uh, they, they had it down at that tasting. Remember, there were uh, several expressions there. Yep. Yeah. Where were we? The, um, I like the peat at one the best. Which one? It was number seven. Yeah, sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were drinking too much that night. I did drink a lot, yes. <laughs> I think we all did. You're talking about this one here. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one, yep. Peated. This is their second peated one. The first peated one, if you're a big peat person and you're into lots of peat, you, you wouldn't even consider it to be peated, right? Yeah. Um, what makes me think of that is the Scotch Test Dummies did a, a show – uh, and they had uh, Bourbon Knights on there, and they were just doing the Highland Park Magnet. 
And the first thing the two people from Bourbon Night said, I forget their names, it's a guy and a girl, was like, man, the peat in this. And were, I'm like, I have a bottle of that. And I'm like, there's no peat in this, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Dolph is saying that Two Brewers number nine is coming out. Do you know what uh, type of release is it going to be, Dolph? I, I forget. Dave was telling me there is a classic peated special finish or innovative. So that's how they categorize their stuff. What is that? Where did you find that old bottle? That's an old release, isn't it? Depending oh, that's on. Suntory. Yeah. Why well, I thought that was an old Wiser's for some reason, the shape of the bottle. No, I got some uh, I got some last barrels and stuff here, Wiser's. Man, most of my stuff is in, in storage. I'm actually excited about the whole YouTube thing here because... You know, it's fun to, to find a, another broader audience, people who enjoy whiskey. Huh? I didn't show this one. You didn't show it, did you? Yeah, it started to. Uh, sorry about that. You know, that's how these live shows go. So, this is a posted. 2014 release. Where did you get that from? Like, it's like, Jesus. I got a, I, uh, here's what I got. This is this. The totally different, eh? Yeah. This and totally how did you find that one? Um, a guy on Instagram was getting rid of a few, wanted to trade. And uh, I have an address. Someone lets me ship to them in the States. So That is awesome, man. That is awesome. That's, I love that stuff, and i got to learn more about doing that there. Um, Richie Z, the finish. At this moment, I have to agree with Santa Cruzin. Or was it Tom R? Tom R said that oh nope, Santa Cruz and said that this this Bell Blair needs more the the more you let it oxidize the better. And right now I'm enjoying it, but let me get a let me get a finish on this. What are you thinking? I think it's sweet. It's right off the bat, especially after adding a little water, it got sweeter. The finish stays there. But it's not nothing special's coming out of it. Like uh, not special. I, I I think it's great. I love this stuff actually. But it's um, mm. it's mellow, man. It's mellow. Yeah, yeah it's it's mellow. That is a very like, it's nutty. It's, it reminds me of uh, mine. Reminds me of a Cardew almost like a Dalmore twelve. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got my my. my I think this must have been. It's not rotten, the cork, but the pieces to have come off on the side. So I have a funny feeling this might have been stored somewhere because it didn't come with a box. And they got the nice Bell Blair box. It's a very nice presentation. Um, but this might have been saying, laying on the side for a long time. I just, just a guess. I don't know. You ever see one of these? Oh, hold on. I'm pouring a little more of a dram here. Oh, you're pouring. Yeah, we'll talk for another maybe 15 minutes, and then i gotta, I got to get up in the morning eh? yeah i'll tell you what oh. i'll show you one more and that crazy there. i'm drinking a 97 bell blair that i just picked up and my guest on here tonight is know your whiskey from instagram josh and he's we're, we're kind of showing off our different whiskeys now show us what you got josh oh man a Glen Mid Winter Nights Dram from Glen Morangy. Now, tell us about that one. This one, uh, as far as I can gather, is a UK release and Germany release. Okay. So you got that traveling, or someone got it for you? Whiskey Barrel, man. I got two. The last two. Who's Whiskey Barrel? Uh, website. What? A website. Shipping whiskey from Scotland, my man. Uh, okay, you got to educate me on how to do that, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's all about the people we know. Eric gets corks like that from uh, Brook Laddie all the time. I, have, I, haven't, I haven't got any laddies. What? I don't know what he was talking about. I have no laddies. Man, I will chug those. I will rub those in my beard. It will not be pretty. <laughs> so what do you do? Anything you do with your uh, your bottles that you have stored, like the unopened ones, do you ever walk over and just kind of 
pour them over, turn them upside down. Yep. Just to get, keep the cork moist, right? You don't leave them that way. Yep. I just, I'm just saying, I do that lots, and what I do is I wait until I don't see any more bubbles coming out of it. Yep. Same thing I do. I give it a little tap on the bottom there, let everything remix, and then like yep. right on the top where where you flipped it up there. Yep. Just give it a little oh, yeah. shake, man, and it just gets all the, if there's any wood grain in there, kind of yeah. rustles it up again, right? This is this is a nice bottle, buddy. I can't wait to open it. Tamadu. I picked up a Tamadu uh, 12-year-old bottled in 97, man. I was sitting on the shelf for 20 years in a Grand Prairie liquor store. Adelphi. See? Adelphi? Yeah. And it's a... And is it, it open sale, yet? Man, it was on sale for forty percent or forty-five percent off or fifty percent off or whatever it was. Oh, you and I should never go hunting or uh, whiskey hunting together. No, no, no. And if we do, we can't come back. <laughs> no, we can't come back. We won't be able to afford to come back. <laughs> My wife let me build an eight by eight built-in walk-up Scotch bar with the Jack Daniel's barrel. Man, she's well. That's she's a good cool. one. She's cool, man. She's an Irish Catholic redhead, mind you. <laughs> Catholic. She's not from Newfoundland? Oh, yeah. Oh, that even adds up to it. This has turned into a whiskey bottle porn, <laughs> Richie. And Dolph, <laughs> you said Adolfi, and so he thought he's heard Adolfi. Uh, yeah. Yes, we have a oh, Man, you know what? I like this even more now that I've had it. Hey, folks. Oh. I'm out. I All right, buddy. I'm going to show you one more thing here. I bought this. Please do. Because I bought it to do whiskey, a show with whiskey in the six, but they were drinking the original one. 1509. Nice. Somebody's asking Santa Cruz what's on the wooden wooden case on the tray behind me. Till I'm 90 to afford your collection. Well, maybe not, but which which one Santa Cruz and in the black box? That's what I did on my last little live show on the weekend uh this isn't what i opened oh yeah it is these are these are on sale right now josh they're regularly like 100 and 101 bucks and they're on on the liquordirect.ca they're on for uh well 50 bucks off they're almost half wow and if you haven't tried it's dutch single malt and this says 10 years old but what it actually says is that it's 10 uh no less than 10 years old this one actually was is i believe 14 years old it is cool. phenomenal it's uh it's a very good whiskey uh the natural wood santa cruzan that is all right because, folks i'm out of here I gotta all go. right you gotta go buddy yep. all right you tell uh tell everybody else how they're gonna find you here before i let you go and then i'll keep chatting for a few more minutes okay um I'm not sure how you can find me on YouTube yet. This is brand new. Um, know Your Whiskey on Instagram. There's no E in Whiskey. We're in Canada. And uh, Twitter's Know Your Whiskey Too Wise. YouTube, I'm assuming, is Know Your Whiskey. But I can't be sure. But check me out. Yeah, he's a fun <laughs> send guy. Send me your info so I can follow you guys. I... I I'm learning YouTube. This is brand new. So send me your info. I'd love to follow you guys as well. A lot of guys will just subscribe to you so they can keep track of you, buddy. Cool, man. All right. Thanks a lot, Josh. Happy meeting you folks. Take care. All right. Cheers. Take care. We'll talk to you later. You betcha. All right. I think that worked, guys. Thanks for joining in. Um, we're going to get back to Santa Cruz's question. So... I was watching a Roy chat or a live show, and uh, I said I'd never tried a Klein Leash. So he said, you got to try a Klein Leash. And I went and uh, I bought a Klein Leash. I sent him a picture of this, and I said, Roy, will this do as a Klein Leash? Of course, Roy, being a very modest, conservative man, said, um, that'll do, but the regular 14-year-old <laughs> will do as well. So this is a... 1989 Klein Leash cask hogshead. Uh, it's two one bottle number 190 of 248 bottles. Um, distilled in 89, bottled in 2014. 
Can you see that there, guys? So that's what I got. Hey, Eric White, thanks for coming in. You better go straight to bed, buddy. Can't believe it's 10 o'clock, and I still got to make my my lunch and everything for tomorrow. I don't have to do a lot. Kind of prepped everything the other night. So, guys, um, this is me filling in whiskey in the six-time slot. I don't know if he's still around, but uh, you guys in Toronto, uh, it's a very difficult time, and I hope things work out. An understanding, maybe this guy sounded like he was a bit of a loner from what some of the people that knew him in high school said. Josh, thanks, buddy, for coming in. Appreciate that. Um, sometimes we see people and, you know, maybe just a high or whatever to them might help avoid these things, right? Have I tried to get the bottle out? I couldn't get, you couldn't get yours out. Are you talking to me? Uh, you know what? That's a good question. I never tried to get the bottle out. How do I get the bottle out? Son of a. There's got to be a way to get the bottle out. Damn it to hell, eh? Loch Ness, it, 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 I wish there was something else that could be done. There is, in my opinion, but it's uh, not a topic for here. What the bloody hell is this? I'm going to have to look that up. Morrison Mackay built this thing so that we couldn't get it out unless we have to take one of these off. That's amazing. Absolutely. I can't see. I mean, it kind of comes down. Wow, that's a good call, Santa Cruzans. No, it does <laughs> I'm going to get a hold of... Uh, a gentleman there, uh, Drams for Fams, um, here in Edmonton. It's a, uh, it's the Edmonton Whiskey Club. They're a small group, but uh, they're doing a fundraiser for the the um, food food uh, shelter. Drams for Fams is what it's called, but uh, he also does part time stuff for this company here, Morrison and Mackay. I believe it's Morrison and Mackay that does this. Yeah, Rare Drams. Yeah, um, that's what Dolph's drinking tonight is Perth, old Perth. Dol Dolph, what is the old Perth? Hogshead is a 300-liter barrel. Yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, what is the story behind the old Perth? It, it belonged, it was a spirit that was made for a specific military organization in the UK. And somehow somebody got hold of it so they could bottle it. Dolph answered my question. Where did Dolph answer my question? Or is he a Chris Britton? It's a style of cask. Oh, it's a huge barrel. That's what she said. No, it wasn't just me. Whiskey terms, I mean. Dumb question of the day. What's a hogshead in whiskey terms? Oh, a hogshead is a size of a barrel. Yes, it's a big barrel. Sorry. Uh, if I'm not watching the screen, I don't see everything that's in there. Refill hog's head. You'll hear that term in many different ways. The bottom should pop off. What do you mean the bottom should pop off, Eric? Like pop out the wooden things or the they it would, but there's a plastic. <sighs> I'm not gonna break this bottle. Oh, it slid down here. Yeah, look at that. It's sliding down. Ta -da. Now what? Got it out, Santa Cruz. Thanks to Eric Gilbert. He is brilliant. And it just happens that I got the, the right side out. It actually, that slips up and it comes out. And this bottom here has a, uh, an opening on it. Amazing. That's uh, interesting. Thanks, Eric. Daniel, what are those bottles to your right that aren't in tubes or cartons? My right. My right? Ah, uh, you guys are asking me a lot of questions that are not in tubes. Uh, are you talking about here? They're a mixture of bottles that I actually had in a different area. 
those ones that I'm willing to, they're all intended to be open. That is awesome. That it worked well. And now it's back in there. Da -da, it's not going anywhere. That's a unique, simple little case. I like that. Probably still costs us a lot to have that, but. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I won't. I'm, uh, I'm surprised that she's actually it didn't pop in here for a bit, but she's busy on these nights. A lost blend originally produced by the Perth blender Peter Thompson, which has since been revitalized under the stewardship of blender and bottler Morrison and Mackay, which is the same guys that make this Morrison and Mackay. They are, that's Carnmore, is their higher end independent. And I believe what Dolph is drinking, sorry for leaving the screen here on you guys, Dolph is drinking this bottle. It's a sherry cask, Old Perth. Um, somebody else here knew what this was not. You got that online. What did you get online? Oh, you read it online. Uh, I think there's more to it than that. So this was done in a sherry butt, sherry punchin, and a sherry's hoghead. 500 liters in the butt. A sherry punchin is 500 liters as well. It's shorter and wider. I had a girlfriend like that once, 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 once. And a sherry hoghead is 200. Pardon me, 250 liters. So, Dolph, is this one different then? This old Perth blended malt, 21 years old, also the same. Look at the color on that. Um, 335 from a single cask. I do not know if it's available in the U.S., but I'm also fond of blends because, you know what? I look a little bit like Wally and Charles with the bottles. Unless you're getting single cask from Glenfiddich or Glendronic or anybody, they're all blends. They're blending them together, right? That's just me. This is 55.4%. I would look up for it. Boys, if you start asking for it, you'll find it. These are good. They are excellent, actually. Yep, it's gas strength. Yep, but nice but different. Just like you, Dolph. Nice but different. <laughs> well, boys and girls, I could do this all night long, which that genre has kind of been taken by the food quake because I do work in the morning very early. Um, I thank everybody for coming in. I thank everybody for kind of giving the support to our Ontario friends. I have not even tried that stuff, Loch Ness. We should try all three. We'll get a hold of Travis and see if he can uh, get that set up. And we'll bring the uh, camera equipment and we'll do a live show somewhere else. I've got a few things I'm going to work on there. Dolph and you and I have talked a little bit, so uh, we can work it out. Santa Cruz, thank you very much, especially for uh, on Instagram encouraging me to do this. Thank you to Rob, Whiskey in the Six, for uh, allowing me to have this spot. And uh, everybody, try to keep a positive mind in this sometimes very difficult and negative world. You guys are the best. Thanks for joining. This was a 1997, and it's an excellent Bell Blair. I think it's reasonably priced. It was about 105 bucks for a 15 year old. Salancha buys. Stay out of trouble. Whiskey Thief, thank you for coming in. You guys are all very, very uh, appreciated in this small little world that we're in. Thanks again, Rob. Richie. Oh, I can smell whiskey all day long. I think that's my favorite thing to do. Salancha.